Okay, this video is going to be mainly about uh, preparing the uh, the picture that you've drawn so far uh, for pencil realism. Um, and th there's two things I want to show you um, before we start giving tone to the picture. Uh, firstly, when we drew the image out, as you can see here, we left lines. Any of these vertical or horizontal uh, whatever they are, lines, these almost definitely will show up when you're starting to tone the piece. So we need to get rid of them. Okay, that one's quite simple. Um, just in addition to that, any of the lines that you've gone over quite uh, darkly, uh, like, like this one here, you shouldn't really let that get so, because again, that'll show up quite a lot when you're toning. So all the uh, all the lines need to be quite light. All the pencil work, again, quite light and just visible. Really, you don't want to go on too hard. Secondly, with the eyes, um, the white of the eye really needs to remain white um, when you come into drawing it, otherwise it won't seem like realistic because you won't get that black-white contrast and that's what creates realism. So in order to keep it as white as possible, I've been using masking tape. Now, Obviously, if I just put that over the top like that, when I lift it up, it's going to rip. I actually demonstrated this happening in uh, one of my earlier videos. So if we just rip off a small piece, we want to take some of the stick off it. However, ideally you don't want to be using your fingers because your fingers probably aren't the cleanest thing. You're getting you know, dead, dead skin cells, maybe a bit of dirt on the back of it. So just use some, some sort of surface. I'm using the back of a uh, like a dinner board type thing. Don't need that bit. So just make sure most of the stick stickiness is gone. Very important part of it. Okay, and when you're happy that this is not going to damage your work. I'll just do it once more. Try to get it creased as well, like I'm doing. <laughs> when you're happy that you've got rid of most of it, you can simply just put it down onto uh, the area you're covering. In this case, it's the eye. So I'm not going to put it down too too hard. Just stroking it down. Now you don't want it to cover the whole lot, of course. So you just get a knife and gently go around it. Again, if you're going too hard, you're going to cut through it and you're going to cut through the paper. We're just going to go to there. Like I say, if you're doing it gently, you're going to need to go over it a few times, again gently, just to make sure that it cuts through, but you're not putting down too much pressure so that it cuts through the paper. Now you can do what I'm doing, just lifting it with the uh, masking tape lifted up on the left of it, which works just as well, and then you can start cutting it. This way you've got the least chance of uh, leaving an indentation in your, uh, your drawing. If you do leave an indentation, however, it probably will be a problem. Um, because when you're starting to shade into it, as in you know, just just around the insides of there, the um, 
the indentation will take in a, a lot of lead and it will appear a lot darker than you uh, may have intended it to. So this is a really important part. If you're a beginner and you don't think this should be too much of a problem then uh, ignore it. But if you, if you really are going for pencil realism I really would advise it. It does make a lot of difference. Okay, and there we have it. That eye is officially covered. Now if you want to just press down a little bit harder, that should be okay.